In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Sora, which is a really great reading tool available to all staff and students at the OCSB. From the staff portal, you're going to scroll down here to Sora and click on this little guy. And this is the login screen that you'll be greeted with. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is select your school. So we are actually in the Ottawa Catholic School Board. So you just select your school board and sign in using our school board login. This is a board-wide tool and you will be prompted to log in with your Google account. So I'll choose my Google account and log in. Now inside Sora, you'll see that it looks very similar to the ebook app that is available through the Ottawa Public Library. So if you're familiar with using that tool to access ebooks, then this will be very similar for you. You can search for a book title up here. So if I have a specific title I'm looking for, I can search um, manually by typing that book in. So I could search the arrow, leaves, for example, and hit enter, and it'll pull up all my titles for me that way. You'll see in here that we've got electronic books, ebooks, as well as audiobooks. So any book that has little headphones on it is an audiobook, and the others are ebooks. If I go back to my Explore tab, I can also just browse through the options. These new always available titles are available all the time for you and your students. This is a, a new section that they've created, particularly for our COVID-19 situation. So you have over 400 books here that you can access and students can read. If I keep scrolling down, you'll see that they have um, kind of groupings by title. So if I really wanna read something young adult fiction, I can search that section and it'll give me all kinds of titles just generic that way. If I go back to explore here, um, I can keep scrolling down and you'll see that they've created these kind of curated collections. So there are a variety of collections here for you, everything from cookbooks to the Forest of Reading collections to many different French books. We have indigenous books here. We have professional reading, professional learning books, and even math. Books can be accessed from your computer or from a tablet. So if you want to access this stuff from a tablet or even for students from their home mobile devices, um, all the books can be accessed that way. So if I want to take out a book, let's say I want to explore this book, I'm going to click on it and I can read the little blurb about it. It's going to tell me the level and the interest level and all that stuff. It gives me an option to read a sample of the book. So if I click on that, it gives me a little sample of the book that I can take a look at and read if I'd like to check it out. Um, if I close that, I can add it to a list. So if I'm like, yeah, this is a book that's interesting for me for later, but it's not what I want to take out right now, I can add it to that list. Um, and I can create a list and this might be books to read later. And I can save that list. I can add all kinds of books to things like that. Um, there's other titles like this, so it recommends similar books at the bottom as well. And then if I know that this is a book I want to take out, then I'm just going to click on the borrow button. Now, if you see a title that says place hold, it means that the book is already taken out. So it is a library. There are a limited number of each title. Um, so you might need to place a hold on a book and you'll be put in a, in a queue to, to get that book when it's available. So I'm going to click borrow. And this is what you'll see when you open up the book. So it's very much like just your regular e-reader kind of format. I'll show you a few of the tools that you have available. So if I click on the page, it's going to open up full screen. If I want to access some of the tools available, I'm just going to tap here on the bottom of the screen. You'll see at the top, it gives me the option to change my view to just be one page view. So I can read it like that. Or um, I can go back to having the two page view like a regular book. If I want to put in a bookmark and mark my place where I stopped reading, I just click this little icon right here. If I click on the magnifying glass, it gives me the option to, option to search within the book. So that's a tool that might be helpful, especially if you're re reading a nonfiction text. These three bars here open up with an option to explore the different chapters in the book. So if I want to scroll down and just skip right to chapter three, because I know that's where I left off last time, I can go there. I can also um, access some of the other reading settings here. So I can look at the bookmarks I have. So I can see that I had put a bookmark in on that first page and it'll bring me to that section. I can also go into the reading settings and I can change things. So if I wanna make the font a little bit bigger, I have the option there to do that. 
I can change the lighting of my screen. So if I prefer to um, read in some of these different views, then I've got those options to change that. I can change the font here as well. So if this font doesn't work for me, I can change it um, to something that may work better for me as a reader um, and stuff like that. So there's all kinds of tools in there for you. Um, as I read, I can use my arrows on my computer to just flip from page to page. And if I'm looking to use my reader tools, there aren't any built-in tools in Sora for, um, for text to speech, but I can open up my read and write toolbar and by using the screen reader button. So if I use the screen reader tool, I can select a set of text and it will read that set of text for me. So if you are looking for those accessibility options for your students, um, they do have the option to use the screen reader tool in read and write. Yeah. So um, that's how you'd read a book in Sora. To close the book, you just click up here in this top corner. And when you're ready to return the book, if I click on borrowed here, it allows me, it'll show me where and when the book is due. So I have 14 days or 13 days to read the book. I can renew the book as long as it's not on hold for anybody else. I can return the book early, which we recommend that you do if you do finish with a book because others are often waiting for the books. Um, you can send your book to different devices. So if you have a Kindle or something like that, you can send that book there. Um, and you can mark the book as done when you're finished reading it. 